Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to do a comparison between Firefox and Chromium running on the Linux desktop. Now we're going to be testing two aspects of performance today, just basically general overall performance, but also more importantly we're going to be playing some 1080p and 4K video and we are going to be testing the relative performance uh, using uh, those two video uh, resolutions. Now my browser of choice is usually Chromium. Um, now I usually find Chromium to be the more responsive of the two, um, but there are other reasons I've historically chosen that. One of them being the fact that it tends to better respect when you run dark themes on the system. So things like your dialog boxes uh, don't have uh, odd low contrast text against backgrounds etc. Now there are some fixes for that but um, uh, in Firefox but um, I've always found of the two that um, Chromium's tended to be a bit better in that regard. Firefox it's fair to say has got better of late and that's less of a problem um, but there are um, one or two things you can do in addition to that to actually speed up the performance of the browser. Now um, both uh, browsers obviously do a fantastic job usually on a reasonable level of PC of decoding high resolution video but I think you'll see here that one uh, on Linux can be made to perform dramatically better than the other. I won't say which until we get into the test but um, let's start. Now before we do this there is a small tweak you need to do or possibly need to do to your Firefox installation. Now some distributions of Linux may well enable this by default. Uh, I don't think most do, so this is certainly something you may wish to do. So first off we are going to load up Firefox. So there we go, there's our, there's our Firefox loaded. Now we need to go into the Firefox settings, but we need to go into the uh, the kind of very low level settings. So to do that, uh, now on my clipboard here I've got the commands saved. So we need to type in about config into our search title bar. And we'll get a warning telling us that what we're about to do could be dangerous if we start uh, messing around with settings about which we do not understand. So we're going to ignore that accept the risk and now we're into as you can see here there are tons and tons and tons of Firefox settings here. Now we need to search for one of these so back to our clipboard and we need to search for layers.acceleration.force enabled. So we'll paste and we'll search and there it is. Now Enabling this will force Firefox at all times to use hardware acceleration on your PC. That's both for the operation of the browser in general and also for video playback. Now as you can see here it's not set as a default. It's, uh, it's got force in the value. So what we want to do here is just double click and now you'll see we've modified it and we've changed the value to true. Now for that to take effect you actually need to close Firefox and then relaunch it. So before we do that let's load up Chromium. And we'll take that to the edge of the screen and let's load up the Plasma system monitor and we'll take that over here and we'll just squidge that down a bit. And there we go, technical term there, squidge, remember that one. And let's uh, load up YouTube now let's find us a nice 4K video. This will be probably be a good candidate. So let's load that. Make sure we're on our 4K setting. And we'll uh, enlarge the video image there. Now as you can see the CPU load on this is up at 50, 50 plus percent. There we go, 56, dropping down to 49. Now what you'll find with this is when you're using Chromium to play back a 4K video, 
um, certainly on a system like this. Um, it will hover between probably mid 40s up to say 60% CPU usage. Now, whether that's a problem depends very much on the machine that you're using. Now, if you're using a 12 core Threadripper, AMD Threadripper, then probably this wouldn't even cause you a problem. This is probably going to register, what, 5-10% on, on such a system. But this is um, an i5 uh, Intel processor, a very recent one. It's a 4-core, 8-thread, but it's an Intel Nook. Um, uh, so these are the very small form factor designs uh, intended to be low power. So on such a system, you certainly want to minimize the CPU load on any applications that you run. And uh, obviously video playback and video encoding are two of the uh, two of the main draws on your on your CPU load when you're carrying out those activities. So now let's try the same thing and we'll load up our Firefox. We'll drag that to the edge like before. We'll keep the sizes the same, so same portion of the screen. We'll paste in our link to the previous video. And we'll just do that. Let's just get that loaded. Enlarge. Make sure we're on 4K, which we're not. Let's put that to 4K. And now let's let that settle down for a moment. And now back to our system monitor. And now, as you can see, it's roughly halved. So we're now down at kind of 20. You'll find this, this varies between the upper teens to the low to mid 20s. You'll get the occasional spike, very occasionally we'll see it spike into say 30. Um, there you can see it just doing that for a moment there. I think that's where it's bringing in if you correlate that to the uh, to the internet traffic portion at the bottom there you'll see it's bringing in frames. But um, generally we're sitting around as it settles the upper teens into the mid 20s. There you go 19 there, 22. That's what you can expect down to 18 there. So 15 there, very, very useful drop in CPU load. I'd say that's at least half the CPU system load using Firefox to render this, uh, to, to play back this video compared to Chromium, which again, as I say, on a processor like this is uh, definitely something that you will value. Trust me, uh, you do not want the system running hot. You don't want the fans whirring up um, if you can possibly avoid it so that was just um say just a quick test um say whether or not it's important to you depends on the machine you're running but certainly for most of us who are perhaps running laptops certainly or lower power machines um this would be certainly a very useful uh saving to make in terms of your of your cpu load so i hope you enjoyed that video um something a little bit different um Certainly makes me think that I should be perhaps using Firefox now and switching away from Chromium. Of course, that's not the only reason, but um, such a dramatic change in system performance is probably uh, up there among the, the main reasons why you might want to do so. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.